I love waking up in a new city and walking around. It's so romantic and different and you learn new things. We're in Budapest and we're in Paris. Then we're in Monte Carlo. And so it's all new, incredible experiences and really beautiful places. The traveling in this movie is definitely extravagant. It's kind of like a fun bonding trip. We started in Budapest, Hungary. Budapest. Budapest. We chose our production base to be in Budapest because it could very easily double for both Paris and Monte Carlo. You have all these amazing castles, the beautiful Danube River. It's really a kind of a magical place. The city is divided into two parts. It's Buda, which is the flatter part, and then the Pest side, which is where the palace is, and it's divided by the Danube. What side are we on? The Buddha side. The Buddha side is very beautiful. It looks like Monte Carlo when you're looking out the back of the window. But we're supposed to be in Paris, right? Edit. They turned this into a boulangerie and a levadur, and they're selling some antiques over there. It all looks like Paris, but it's actually not. It's in Budapest. I think the actors were really excited after being in Budapest for a couple months to hit France. So excited for cheese and bread and chocolate and macaroons. I hear the bread is fantastic. Le pain quotidien. Next, we went to the city of love, Paris. It's a very romantic city. Every street is beautiful like a postcard, and, and the men are uh, beautiful too. And. Uh, <laughs> When we arrived at the Eiffel Tower, it was 5 o'clock in the morning and it's still dark. And as we were on the elevator ascending, the sun came up over the entire city. At one point, Late Noma started crying because it was so wonderful to be able to be on the Eiffel Tower by yourself watching the sun come up. It's really, really beautiful up here and we've had the place for ourselves for two days. We got to see a beautiful sunrise and the Sacre Coeur silhouetted in front of the sunrise. And it's an amazing, amazing city. It's, it's magical. It is. We went to the Louvre and it was amazing. Just these art pieces were just awesome. We shot inside the Louvre. It was unbelievable in the main gallery to show them run past the Liberty leading the people painting. amazing being able to be there and actually see the work of art without a hundred people around and you kind of just stop and realize no one else is in this room how amazing is that this is the world's largest museum and we have it to ourselves a bunch of times, but it was so much fun. There were a lot of people. I don't even know if there were people that were supposed to be there. I think there were just random people that were in the movie, and I was like, cool, that's our, I'm like, more the merrier. There were so many people. Today, we are at the uh, steps of the Sacre Coeur, which is a beautiful, famous old French church. And you can overlook all of Paris. It's beautiful. You can see from the Eiffel Tower. We've been looking at it for the past few days, so I was excited to come. Sh shooting in Paris has been one of the best experiences of my life. I've been so fortunate to have some time off, too, which has been great. Tomorrow, we go to Monaco. I can't wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force myself to gamble. Oh, wait, I should say. Definitely not least, Monte Carlo, which is where we are now, and it's absolutely stunning. It's another beautiful day in France, and this time we're in the south of France. I think every five seconds, each of us keeps saying, we're in Monte Carlo. We're on the beach in France right now. This is amazing.
The water is crystal. It's that 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, beautiful. Monaco is like nothing I've seen before. It is so much wealth in such a teeny little place. It has the guys driving around in Bugattis. It has the sheiks staying at the Hotel de Paris, and yet is natural in its beauty as well. The Hotel de Paris really opened themselves to the production. It's a very fancy place. They were very good to us, and we, we tried not to break anything. This whole ad adventure has just been a learning experience for all of us. To be able to shoot in the places we did, it was an incredible gift. We're all different ages, but we all care about each other, and I don't think we'd want to share it with anybody else.